As Canada moves to phase out single-use plastics, alternatives have been showing up. But a new study out of the University of Toronto is raising the alarm about the presence of so-called forever chemicals, known as PER and polyfluorinated alcohol substances, or PFAS for short. Researchers said it's the first time it's been found in Canadian food packaging. We purchased 42 items in just a, like everyday fast food restaurants. We found that about half of them contained PFAS. The highest concentrations were in molded fiber bowls. Professor Miriam Diamond was involved in the study that took place over a number of years. She said we should be concerned because of the ability of the PFAS to degrade into compounds that will get into us and that could cause harm. Items tested include small paper bags and wrappers as well as compostable bowls. The study authors didn't say which companies had the products, but with about 10,000 PFAS chemicals and the constant evolution of materials, scientists said they can't keep up. We should not be conducting an experiment in real time with our population and our ecosystem to figure out what the toxicity and adverse effects would be of these forever chemicals. Diamond added PFAS aren't just being found in our fast food packaging, it's also being found in our waterways and it's something that's hard for water treatment plants to remove. This is really a big concern because there are millions of people that are now drinking water with levels of PFAS that are above health guidelines. She said based on the findings in her study and in other studies, there needs to be increased oversight and companies need to step up to make sure items don't have PFAS, noting there are better products out there since half of the things they tested didn't have any PFAS at all. It's not a matter of you and I figuring out how many meals we should have in a PFAS laden burrito bowl. No, no, it's a matter of industry removing these harmful chemicals and it's a matter of the federal government stepping up to the plate to impose restrictions so that all Canadians are safe. City News asked federal officials what they're doing in response to PFAS. An Environment Canada statement said research to get further information is underway, but there are proposed recommendations and a report coming that could see further restrictions put in place. For more on the study, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.